I told my ex and two days later, he said he locked himself in a room and gave DID to himself too. And I was like, girl, no. What? You hear that guys? Here's some little tips and tricks for you. If you want to self-inflict some DID, because let's be honest, who wouldn't like a little bit of that DID at the moment with all the attention you get? Here's a little tutorial on how to do it. Apparently, lock yourself in a room and look into the darkness void at nighttime. It will cause you some DID. What the fuck? That's like the dumbest thing I've heard. And oh my god, we've heard some pretty dumb stuff. What's up, boys and girls? Welcome back to the Ablaze channel. Best, best channel here on YouTube. Everybody clap. Now, Papa Ablaze here is going to keep on that tradition and watch some more absolute tomfoolery. Hey, you have DID, right? Yeah, I do. Thanks for asking. Did you have any questions about it? Um, yeah, can you switch for me? Yeah, yeah, can you, can you do that really cool thing where you, where you like, switch? It, uh, it's so epic and cool. Could you, could you please, could you do that for me? I don't think anyone legit says this to anybody unless you're either in kindergarten or if you're one of those annoying TikTok kids that legit does this for attention. <laughs> Yeah, like I know, I know you have cancer. Can you can you do that cool epic thing where like you grow lumps? Can you show me? That would be really cool. No one says this. You have just made up this skit on the spot, bro. No, dude, I cannot switch for you. Then how am I supposed to know you have DID? I guess you're just supposed to believe me because I wouldn't lie about something like that. Whatever. I mean, I mean guys, she she brings up some good points. How could I know if you have it or not if you can't show me? Guys, this is just common sense at this point, but the story thickens because... Later that day. Later that day. Oh man, I'm sorry. I, I think I'm switching. Give me just a second. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding, bro. That, that'd be insensitive. The person who asked if they could switch a second ago was totally like, Yay! Finally, I get to see it. First hand. Oh boy, oh boy. I can't wait. Tick that off the bucket list. I've now seen someone switch. This is going to be epic. <sighs> Sorry about that. Thank you for waiting for me. Dude, you're so fake. That's not what switches look like. Okay. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, like you didn't even change into anyone. Like that's just not what it even looks like. No, I agree with the, fucking, the first girl, bro. Like... <laughs> They're self-diagnosed with autism. They're definitely faking it. This is always such a weird one to me. It's like, with it being something as complex to do with some type of disorder, you'd want to go to a professional to seek actual help. And I know they always come back with the argument, well, Blaze, we're not all privileged. We can't afford a doctor. Okay, that might very well be the case, but it doesn't then mean you can then start going on TikTok and talking about your experience like you actually have it. Because there may be that slim chance you might not have it. And then there are other arguments to that is, well, you know, when you have a broken arm, you don't have to go to the doctor for that to prove that you actually have it, do you? And it's like, okay, bro, but a broken arm as opposed to some really complex disorder is not really the same, my guy. <laughs> like, kind of a really dumb analysis to look at it like that. But a blaze. The only reason I want this order is so I can post it on TikTok. Don't tell me what I can and cannot do. <laughs> No, sorry, my bad. Valid, valid point. <laughs> They're just making it up on the spot at this point, aren't they? My guy did a quick Wikipedia search on what ADHD is and then created this. Oh guys, you know how I be sometimes. Sometimes I go to just make my TikToks and they're really epic, but sometimes I get distracted. What, is there like a butterfly in your room or something, bro? See that guy? See how convincing that was? I now have ADHD as well, right? Right, guys? Give me attention, please. Give me attention. Give me attention by liking today's video and leaving a comment down below. Tell me what your favorite color is. I don't care. Write anything. Just give me some of that sweet attention. <laughs> cool, guys, please. I just, I'm doing it the right way. Oh, gamer logging off. Gamer logging off again. Gamer logs off a third time. Wow. Now, I, I, I don't specialize, nor am I an expert in fainting, but I think when you faint, you don't really have control over it. And just think about that for a second, because 
my girlie, my little girlie over here is literally on her bed recording herself very conveniently before she faints. I feel like there's probably people at this point that actually just create this content just because it's funny in the sense that they just know that the fake disorder community will literally always have their back regardless to what happens. Well, how do you, how do you know she's faking? Oh my God, bro, fuck off. Guys, that's just an autistic person trying to make it through one of a Blazes videos. <laughs> Fuck, get it off! Get it off! Get it off! I hate this! Get it off! It sucks! <laughs> make him stop! I hate his British accent! Ugh! <laughs> British people aren't real! Ah! Oh, okay, dude. Why do autistic people, are they like incapable of listening to sounds? It's like this is Superman and that's the Crimson Knight is just listening to audio switch between. Oh, it's just so fake. I hate it. I hate it, bro. Well, I'll believe it when the normal color hair people start making these types of videos, but I'm just saying I ain't believing this if you've got green hair, dude. I'm not believing it for a second. <laughs> Yeez. Hi, I'm B, and we have dissociative identity disorder. There are 20 personalities in this body, and we're very switchy right now, so... I figured I would make a TikTok just to Wise choice. see who wants to come say hi. Oh, I'm 19, by the way. <laughs> okay, okay, good. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? No. What the hell is this? Did she just transform back into her 14 year old age? Holy sh! I don't even care about TikTok. This is totally f stupid. Ends the video. Is this for an acting class? Like, is this like your performance that you're videotaping? You're going to send it off? I want to see what she, what is she going to say? Do I really have to fucking Whoa, do Whoa, that voice! Holy Sweet little innocent girl at the beginning, just like, Hey yeah, guys, I like TikTok and my favorite color's pink. I like stuff like spending time with my family means the world to me. And I also like rainbows and glitter. <laughs> I actually hate everyone. TikTok's a fucking waste of an app. Like, why do I even fucking try? Fuck, it sucks. I hate everyone. Okay, dude, yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. This is so fake. Hi. I'm Chaos. <laughs> oh, Chaos! Holy shit! My name is Chaos, destroyer of planets, breaker of chains. I don't. Fuck with me. I'm shaking right now guys. I don't know if I can continue. I don't want to upset chaos. I'm 23. Wow. No. Let me just fix that. No, we're not fixing it. Okay, hi, I'm Ben. <laughs> oh, um, I am 24. Hi. Nope. I'm Aries. I'm 32. I'm Nidra. I'm 19. Okay, well, thought we are going to be escalating the age there. My name's Margaret and I'm 98. What the, what the hell is this technology? What the hell is this weird box and why is it filming me? I don't consent. Turn it off. Turn it off now. Also, poor choice of a name there. I'm just saying, bro, you, you, you spooked me with a name like... I'm Nidra. I'm just saying, guys, coming awfully close to another word. This is stupid. Yeah, took the words right out of my mouth. Finally, someone who I agree with. This is stupid. Ah, what am I even doing? Huh? This is stupid. Hi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the rain. I'm fine. <laughs> oh, 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 guys, we go. Fucking skip this. Fucking fucking hell, bro. Can't be reacting to mine. That's fucking hell. Re fucking skip, 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 skip. <laughs> oh, shit. And I am 20 okay. years old. That's bad. <laughs> Hi. I'm Roxy and I'm six. Okay, skip, 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 skip again. Holy shit. <laughs> fucking hell, guys. We gotta skip, 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 skip. Fuck, 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 fuck. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. And I'm 18 years old. Okay. 
on the page. And I'd rather not say my age. Okay, but <laughs> how old? What was your name? I'm Pitch. Oh, okay, for some, I'm a bitch. Whoa, guys, what a roller coaster of a TikTok, eh? Really had me on the edge of my seat there. I didn't know what to expect. <sighs> it's almost like they make it up as they go along, but they wouldn't. They wouldn't. They wouldn't. You can't. You can't fake this stuff. Impossible. So basically, a lot of people, specifically diagnosed people, are saying that self-diagnosed people are not allowed to speak for the community, are not allowed to speak on like autistic matters or allowed to teach people about autism. And as a self-diagnosed person, I say that's bullshit. I will be honest, I can kind of see where someone might have this mindset considering the amount of misinformation and- uh, Having said that, I can like totally understand and see where people are coming from with all the uh, fakeness over these past two years. Um, so I do see where people are coming. Yeah, no shit, bro. You legit have like whole Reddits dedicated now for people that legit fake. Oh, you, you can see where we're coming from when we say, if you're not fully diagnosed, you shouldn't be making TikToks talking on it. Oh, well, that's very understanding of you. Thank you. <laughs> Look, this is so stupid. Honestly, stereotypes around self-diagnosed people. So, let me explain. First, being self-diagnosed does not make you any less autistic than a diagnosed person. I mean, it kind of does. Not if you actually had it. Oh, guys, if you're actually autistic and you think you are, there's just, there's no different at this point. The, the, the line is blood. So free game, I say, there's just no difference. Like, I, I, <laughs> you guys stupid. But also, if you are self-diagnosing yourself with something like autism, you need to be at least 95 to 100 percent sure that you are autistic yeah but you could say that to anyone bro you, you say that to a 12 year old but are you 100 percent certain yeah i am because i saw this like i i saw this tiktok the other day and honestly that was like so me they said something about uh if i walk on my tippy toes <laughs> and i drink water and then i have autism and i i like I totally do those things. Yeah, saying to like a 14 year old, you have to be 100% certain. You're just asking for trouble, bro. Like, it's just like, how can you even say that? Try and compare that to like, I don't know, a 34 year old doctor who's been in the field for like 10 years and done this professionally for a long time. How can you even begin to be so naive to think that you even know where to even look? Like if you're getting all your facts off of TikTok and Google, bro, like the f <laughs> oh my god, this is actually a little bit insufferable. I can't even lie. Unfortunately, a lot of people self-diagnosed and diagnosed do not understand this about self-diagnosis, which in turn leads to people having mindsets like the comment I'm replying to. So just so we're clear, self-diagnosed people are allowed to speak for the community and are allowed to educate on autism. I always feel like it's just a slippery slope they're going down because it's like, that's how, for one, misinformation gets spread. And uh, there's been a lot of that over these past two years. Like I just said, legit, some people actually now believe if you walk on your tippy toes, you have autism. Like that's not a definitive like reason or like uh, evidence to say that you actually have autism if you go on your tippy toes, bro. Like, oh, it's just so dumb. I don't know. Not to like be that annoying gatekeeping guy who's like, no guys, that was allowed except for me. I just, where does common sense really come into play with this? You know what I mean? The thing is, these types of people grow an extra five years down the line. She'll probably cringe at this video and be like, yeah, what the f was I even talking about, bro? But you're not allowed to say any of this online. Otherwise it's bullying or hate speech or whatever it is. So they're allowed to have their own opinion on stuff about very serious matters uh, such as autism, but I'm not allowed to have my opinion on these people and what I actually think. Okay. <laughs> that's actually, that's actually valid. Because a valid self-diagnosed person is going to have done months to years of extensive research on autism. How do you know, bro? That might be in your case, but you're not telling me nine-year-old Jason over here has done, bro, his whole life, he has been studying for this. <laughs> No. Okay, I don't watch any more of this, but this is <laughs> stupid. No, okay. <laughs> oh, get real, bro. Wow, Blaze, isn't that awfully lucky that she fainted on the right side and hit the bed? 
Isn't that so lucky? Could you imagine if she'd have gone the other way and actually done what she had said in the video? I fainted and whacked my head against the wall. No, you, you fell over very gently and laid on the bed. And even if you were, say, let's say they, they actually did that. Let's say she went the other way and then whacked her head really hard. If you're still posting that on TikTok, bro, you're doing that for like fucking sympathy, like 100% still doing that for attention. Not only is that fake, but also massively attention seeking. Guys, feel bad for me. Feel bad for me. Feel bad for me. Notice me. Notice me. Give me attention. I fainted. Give me sympathy. Guys, I have it so hard. I legit fainted the other day. Oh man, I do not have it easy. <laughs> oh, okay. Being upside down, jumping. Wow, thank you for enlightening me on all the different stimmings that I, I, I was clueless, bro. Holy sh Welcome back to my top five stimming recommendations. Number one, I like to do the spinning. It makes me feel really epic and it's really nice. Ugh. Sometimes though, I, ugh strangle myself, which isn't very epic with the headphone wire. Holy shit, help. Sorry guys, it would appear I just switched to chills and nearly killed myself. Could, if you guys could like leave a nice comment <laughs> down below and just tell me how um, epic I am or something. That would be really nice because that was really scary. Uh, yeah, I've actually, I, yeah, I've actually been suffering with DiD now for about two minutes. So if you guys could like totally just, you know, be nice in the comments, that'd be really appreciated. Thank you. <laughs> oh, okay. With that all being said, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to smash. No, I mean, absolutely destroy it. Hit, hit the fucking shit out of that like button. I want you to break. I want monitors to be broken right now. I want your fist to go through the screen by smashing the like button. <laughs> we hit 2 million likes. I'll switch again. I'll do it. I'm totally fucking serious right now, guys. All right, boys and girls. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.